компания. Thank you very much for the invitation and for allowing me to share this moment with you. And unlike Jessica, who was the previous speaker, I am not uh, at once in several places, so I'm very, very happy. that uh, I can be together with you. After I have published uh, an, a paper whether the God will forgive uh, uh, Sister Bernadette, after several, uh, s uh, several years uh, of uh, violence of the nuns, also, also about uh, problems uh, uh, which have been discovered in the houses for senior people. Uh, I have received many emails from journalists and from other people who were asking me if I'm going to do something about these evil situations. In every situation, people have internal uh, crises, uh, doubts, and fears. In order to become better, wiser, and more mature, we have to undergo go these emotions, but also there is a group of people who have no such internal crisis, who whenever they make a move, even if it's a cruel one, they justify it uh, based on the, the uh, religion uh, ideology, and they are only interested in their own satisfaction. They, they have no scruples. They are psychopaths. Historically, during the Second World War and during the Stalinism era, they were more visible. Currently, uh, they are uh, they they take uh, hiding uh, in such institutions, close institutions as children's homes, uh, uh, homes for elderly people, or mental hospitals. This is where they become powerful. That is unlimited. So this is this kind of evil I'm interested in, and I research it in uh, in my papers. Kap Richard Kapuściński used to say that no palace uh, will collapse by itself. So in every of the small palaces in Poland, we need people who will uh, disclose cruelty of other people. And it will only happen if we remember that our internal crisis, our doubts, do not mean that we are weak. It's our strength. It's the best way that will take us uh, to the um, to, 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 to the situation where we will be valuable people. We live in the times that uh, require new social contracts, solidarity, empathy, and love. Poland is a very specific country. Uh, there are many LGBT uh, couples here who are surrounded by uh, their relatives who who go outside, who 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 are who are open and tolerant. And on the other hand, we've got uh, a much stricter uh, law for women who have abortion than the law in Saudi Arabia or in Africa. So. Additionally, there are politicians who want to become more popular thanks to such attitudes and approaches. So we have two Polands that are in, in, in constant internal conflict. Uh, it's hard to see maturity in the society. Our society is not, uh, is, uh, is not supporting the weakers. Rob Sturz used to say about his father. He is the most wonderful man I have ever used. He told me once that a good lord is like a parent who has thousands of children and is worried about each one of them. Is looking after cleaners, farmers, soldiers he is leading. He told me that he's waking up with, and wakes 
he's waking up with fear. So I asked him whether a brave man can be afraid of something. And he said that only the person who feels something can be uh, brave. In Poland, for many past, uh, for, for, for several years, um, we hear that uh, uh, justice is uh, it means uh, uh, that somebody somebody who's just is naive. As a reporter, I have met with people. Uh, who didn't show that they are worried about the lives of other people. They were only afraid of their jobs. So in my notebooks, when I was making notes, I was writing down their names and I was uh, saying that this is some, this is a broken person. I knew that I couldn't expect them to be sincere. They only want to defend their own interests. They want power. So what makes them different from sadists and psychopaths, uh, these people were born to be evil. Evil. Slowly, uh, they are surrounded uh, by uh, false supporters, partners with whom they share no closeness, with friends who are laughing behind their backs. Bugs. And they start to believe that this is this is the this is how the world works. You either cheat other people or they will cheat you. So never trust anyone. Sometimes uh, they, they 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 assume uh, that they are uh, heroes. They they think that that nobody will notice this fear in their eyes. They are only focused on their, uh, on their interest. In the time of consumption and boasting about your lifestyle where beautiful uh, houses uh, lie adjacent to uh, slums and uh, there are uh, hamburgers in the trash bins, uh, next to children who beg for food. We need people who, in authority who will not divide people into homo or heterosexual, the foreigners and our ones, atheists uh, and Catholics, uh, shop owners and business people. We need those who will bring us together. The justice system uh, requires change and it should give up the patriarchal system that uh, enslaves uh, the vulnerable ones. Even the police women told me they would never report being raped because they know how uh, people are uh, treated. Uh, an interpreter raped during a conference, a medical conference, reported about reported uh, the cases from uh, the uh, court. And she said, my father was looking at me. Uh, journalists were looking at me. The offenders will s stop laughing. And all of a sudden, uh, the uh, judge's uh, sentence suspended. They could come back to their families, to their businesses. Uh, the a judge said the, uh, they learned that they did something wrong. They were not, uh, pun they had not been punished before. The policewoman, uh, the female judge, were not aware that uh, they raped me for the first time. The rapist uh, will be uh, sentenced if it's uh, an unemployed uh, uh, alcohol addict. If uh, this is a student or a business uh, people, they start asking, what was she wearing? Did she drink a glass of wine or perhaps two? A woman is asked about uh, what the rapist penis looked like. Uh, when I was making documents uh, for one of my reports, um, I participated in a mass, uh, uh, in, a, in a service delivered by uh, a priest who was sentenced for his pedophile um, acts. And he was placing the holy wafers into children's mouths. There are many cases when uh, rapes uh, were uh, not punished when the offenders were passing by their victims in the street. Those who offend or who uh, abuse the vulnerable and are not uh, adequately punished. When female soldiers uh, are 
abused and it's regarded as something normal and not punished. In the country where four-time murder is released conditionally and the judge and the prison's uh, director explained that it was really a peaceful prisoner. I am terrified by the court acts uh, that I read a lot the number of mirrors and failing to understand the person's lot. Pavel from my report on Sister Bernadetta said everybody was beaten, but if somebody had been de beaten at home, they never thought it was something wrong. What a few years old child can know about uh, but things. Sometimes uh, Sister Bernadetta beat me so heavily that I was not able to go to school. She was beating me all over my body, but the worst uh, hits were uh, into my were uh, at my head. They had to uh, put stitches under my skin. So the sisters took me to the hospital and explained to the doctor that I fell down. I uh, told about the rapes to my teacher, uh, and then I saw her talking to the sister. They were laughing and telling jokes. I felt felt uh, pushed against the wall as if I had to choose between death and living in the center. I would like to say don't have kids uh, just to get uh, benefits uh, because there are some. Then you have a two-year-old uh, child uh, who ends up in uh, such a center. I encourage uh, parents to go there. It's like living in hell. The children don't want to live any longer. The children with whom I talk take tremendous responsibility on themselves. Many of them are small adults uh, who uh, call their uh, parents to become mature in the face of sexual abuse, whereas uh, the tutor from the center, a lay person, uh, said it was a um, um, mortal sin to, uh, to tell that the sisters did something wrong. We have to differentiate between the sin and the crime. We have lots of experts on morality and lack of experts on their own responsibility. In 1964, the New York Times published a short note on uh, an incident in Queens. A murderer was chasing and uh, trying to stab a woman. The inhabitants and uh, lights which were put on disturbed uh, the uh, um, offender, but he returned and stopped the woman. The woman died because nobody called the police. A few months later, the same uh, journal wrote a story about a young secretary who was beaten and raped in an office. She managed to get to the entrance door and was shouting, help me, he raped me. The crowd in the street was looking uh, at her being pulled up uh, by the offender who continued uh, abusing her. Nobody helped her. Psychologists initiated a number of research on social responsibility. Professors from the New York University were close to these incidents. They carried out experiments in New York uh, in the underground and streets. The results contradicted their uh, perception. The more people observe the incident, the less probable that somebody will offer a helping hand because the diffusion of the sense of personal responsibility occurs. I am aware that this is a kind of sociological scheme, which is really hard to get away from. But after a series of uh, reports, I was really struck by uh, the uh, criminals and people who really knew about children's suffering and decided not to uh, respond, not to react. According to my experience, many teachers and tutors do not respond or react to tortures. There is a problem to find witnesses. People don't want to get involved uh, in a case against a person who can take revenge, even if it's uh, about others' life. The new social contract has a chance to exist only if we don't cut our own responsibility, which exists in a system instead of hard, hard, hard old systems. So a man had uh, 
uh, a dream. He was approaching a cave with two people with uh, faces of pigs. It was a wagon full of uh, uh, dead uh, employees. He saw some sunshine and a corridor. At the end, there was a city made of steel and glass. So peacefully, he followed the city. He stood in front of a big machine to which some cables were attached. They reminded snakes, and the blood was flowing through these cables. In the pocket, in his pocket, he found an object. He touched it, and he felt it was a pocket knife he, received, he got from his father when he was a child. He uh, approached the machine and started cutting the cables. He felt blood on his uh, body. He woke up. He was so frightened. According to Eric Fromm, it's a vision of, of a deadness of mechanical society. Uh, he couldn't understand, the man didn't understand what he was dreaming of because he was uh, the victim of the social nonsense. The whole world is in the hands of small group of people. During the pandemic, it, it, this group can maximize uh, profits further. When the companies uh, generate profits, they are not perceived as non-ethical one. Laughing at people who receive 500 plus benefit is in wrong. So uh, if an, uh, intellectuals uh, no longer uh, uh, no, no, no longer uh, criticize it's uh, it's enough if you shout it's the Tusk's fault or go away Kaczynski this is uh, when you you can you can be you can become perceived as somebody uh, who is very brave we live in the times of nonsense we do not appreciate uh, diligence and consistency. Good structures uh, are developed in strong systems. And during the pandemic, uh, Poland was like a, a house made of cards. A friend of mine told me about companies of the past, about a group of people who, uh, who, are, very, who are very close to one another. They want to build something nice together. They care about the friends. It's not only about generating profits for a small group of people they have never seen. This mechanized world where, where, where employees can be made redundant very quickly uh, causes the, the, the feeling of fear, living in the conflict and uh, dividing people into two hostile camps. This leads to hatred towards uh, your own homeland, homeland. For the whole generation of people, the belief in free market corporations has been discredited. There are lots of problems with the dignity. Capitalism's, capitalism requires a, a radical redefining. And further um, will to, to have non-stop consumption will will result in the sh in the sh in shedding blood. So the the pocket knife knife symbolizes the return to the country where people value work and other people. Uh, during TED conference, Simon Simek has talked about General Wilson, who took part in a mission in Afghanistan. He was talking about the situation where the general went to save the wounded, to, to, to render care to the wounded, and that, the, and that it was filmed. So the captain took one of the casualties who was wounded on, on his neck. So when the general brought him to the aircraft, he kissed the casualty on, on the forehead, and then he went back to, to bring other casualties. Uh, so he was able to sacrifice uh, himself for the sake of other people. So Sinek commented that uh, we need some more people who are like uh, General Swenson. We need more like this, more people like this in companies, in political parties. The more people we have, we will have more trust. We will have better community, and you can easily get infected with the good. So we need to make sure that our employees work in solidarity, and if it happens, the structure of the companies will improve. So people have. To 
to be responsible for the decisions, and only then the social structure will change. In 2020, uh, we had with, we have witnessed a wave of protests. So people do not um, agree to treat women as objects. The uh, last protest uh, was of fundamental importance. So the subject. Uh, so 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 we want new customs. We want to make sure that sexual criminals uh, uh, are responsible. We need new education. We which will address the voice of uh, little girls, minorities, new uh, health policy. Currently, there is no common basis for the social life. There are lots of, in, of separate platforms, uh, lots of indifference. People have the feeling of safety when they see that other people are not only focused on themselves. Institutions work if uh, if uh, the head of, uh, of such institution uh, will be able to uh, sacrifice his salary to make sure that he helps the employees. Also, people have to um, have opportunities to develop. They have to be active for others. Uh, Anderson was saying that the life of each uh, of every uh, every man is is, um, is the story written by the God. So let's make sure that uh, every human being has his or her uh, story. Thank you very much. Thank you.